Hello, and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. I'm a swing trader. Swing trading is boring, but it can be profitable if you have a simple plan, you have a good watch list. And my watch list I'm sharing with you on my Discord chat. You have good risk management, which in my case, I try to put my stop loss at about 8% and my target at 20 and hope for the best. I use options. So I don't have to set a physical stop loss. I'm confident. I hope you are. If you're not confident, do some paper trading and get some confident. But if you're going to do trading, you must be determined and you must do your own work. You have to develop your own strategy. Following mine is fun and dandy, but you must use those ideas and develop your own, use your own indicators, and develop your own strategy, one that you've tested and are confident in. And then you can win. It takes time. Today, I want to talk about two stocks, two streaming stocks. One's Disney. That's everybody's favorite. And the other one is Raku, an up-and-comer. Lots of people out there think that the bottom is in. And I think there's still some headways to go. See if you agree. Let's get started. But first, I want to tell you, we're an education channel. We're not advising you of anything. We're just showing you my trades with the hopes that it'll help you. Observing other people's trading will, will help you develop your own trading strategy. Let's get started. The first stock is Disney. So, I made a little spreadsheet and put my watch list on it. American Airlines, Apple, these are all the stocks that I'm interested in. Caterpillar, Costco, and then I listed the prices that it's trading at today. Five days ago, two days ago, and come up with it the change in the last five days and this was a positive change for air american airlines so you can kind of see the trend of the stock change in the last two months it's been a positive change for american airlines and then i took a look at the spy spy in the weekly time frame and kind of seen when things started going south for the stock market and it looks like around january the peak was there. Let's just put this on the monthly and see if it gives us any clearer indication. Yeah, peak right there. What that is around December, January time frame. Peaked and then the next month it went down. So that's January when you had started having the decline. And by the way, this is trading view. It's free. And you can do some shorting. A lot of people do it. shorting. And around January is that decline. Now I think the, the recession began January 1st. And the change in the stock price for each one of these tickers from January 1st. And so, this is a change since January 1st. And some stocks went down and some went up. And with that knowledge there, then I had a list of the stocks that have went up. Exxon Mobil, oil and gas, transportation, Walmart, Kroger. And a list of the stocks that are doing so hot. Delsa. A lot of people think that's going to be bottomed out. JD.com, Alibaba. I'm thinking about buying a little Baba. And I take in these two lists, a good list and a bad list, and put them on a portfolio where I'm actually getting some singles. And these singles are coming from my free Discord, which you can just copy, copy in the data. The only problem is you have to use the same tickers that I'm using and did the same thing for the worst. Disney is a strong down trend, and we got a buy single. But that means things look a little positive for the last couple of days for Disney. But all, all this thing going on down in Florida, taking their tax status away from them and some of the other privileges they have, and the repercussions from its political inputs, where lots of people just want to go to Disney. They don't want to hear a lot of political stuff. I think Disney's going to hit some headwinds. And the trend is down. We're going to take a look at Disney. And the other one is Rocco. These streaming services are going to hit some headwinds. And it seems to have a good day too. We'll see we'll See what what it's looking like. But the overall preparing trend seems to be down. This is based on a slope. Slope of a line. And this data here is out on my Discord. Free Discord. Stock Planners Walks List. Click on the link. And this sheet comes up. And you can go ahead and and copy and paste it into a spreadsheet and this is the watch list i use and the trend direction 
And we can see that Disney Stop, everybody knows what Disney is. It does some theme parks, movies, and streaming. Streaming is where their future is going to be. And there's some future growth for Disney. The health of the company is very good. It's not really undervalued. And their forecast for growth is 35%. That's, that's pretty good. But look, this is what Disney is doing. Well, I feel there's going to be some headwinds with Disney. And mainly based on their politics. So I think that Disney is going to stay below 110 for the next few months. Earnings. They had two green bars the last couple of days. Some people might say it's going to ready, ready, it's bottomed out and ready to go top. I think we got some more headwinds. I don't see anything that's optimistic about Disney. People are mad. So maybe we can find a deal where if the stock price stays below 110, we'll make some money. Disney, looking out to November, October 21st, putting the, the deal together using a broken wing strategy. And I have no downside risk, but my risk is all to the upside. If it goes up, that's where I'm going to be in trouble. But as long as it stays below 110, 110 or 111, whatever, however you want to look at it, we're going to make some money. And if it hangs around 100, we make a lot of money. To do this trade, they pay me $63. I could lose up to $400, but that 400 to make a, th a potential 1000 is really got a good risk reward. So I like this trade. Looking at a table, if it gets down to around 100 in this area here, I'd like to take 150 bucks out of here. Losing around 12%, and I have my profit target at 20, but I don't really going to get that, but, but this is where I want to be. I want to take early profits about 150, 150, risking 400 to make 150. That's better than 25%. I'm not figuring it up, I'm just doing a ballpark, and that fits my criteria. What do you think of this trade? Is Disney going up or down? Will it stay below 110 for 150 bucks? I don't know. Leave your comments below. Tell me this is bottomed out or it's still got some ways to go down. Let's go on to the next trade. Raku is another st streaming service. The advantage Disney has is it has its some um, it has all those movies and stuff. And Raku just has to buy their their movies from other people. It's undervalued. Earnings expect to grow 64%. That's great. Future looks bright. Health of the company is pretty good. Undervalued. What's not to like? I'll tell you what's not to like. Nobody likes it. Look at that down slide. Down slide. Looking for something below 107 bucks. Do you think the last two days has been green? Do you think it's going up? Hit the bottom? Do you think there's a line of support? A lot of resistance here. Let's see if we can put a deal together. Again. A call broken wing. We're negative on this. Or at least I'm negative. You might be positive. Go the other way. Do a put broken wing. October. Giving myself plenty of time. When this is market volatile. You want to give yourself plenty of time. In order to make the trade. Getting 275 in my pocket. The max loss is about 700 bucks. But I can bank about 12 to $1,300. If it goes my way. A little my way. This is where you make your most money. Looking at the graph with a stop of around 12% and a profit target of around 20, we want to be in here. So let's shoot for 131 and try to shoot for 118 loss. So we're making 131 and risking 725. That's 15 or 20%. Well, what do you think of this trade here? Is Raku going down, which I think it is, or is it going up, which I'll lose some money if it if it does down or up have we hit the bottom please your comments below tell me what you think of this trade are you trading in it i think both disney and raku are going to have some headwinds what do you think happy trading do your own due diligence paper trade if you must follow along make some comments engage that's the only way you're going to learn if, if you're a novice trader and if you're not engaging will help you be a become a more consistent trader it has engaging with you today has made me a more consistent trader i'm not there yet i hold things too long and i take profits too early bad habits raku disney short catch you on the flip